Tech, I'm your host Ben and today I'm excited to let you know that iOS 13.5 has finally been released today. Now this is the GM version and expect the release of the public version between tomorrow and Friday this week. Now let's go ahead and go into settings and see what this update comes in as. So if we go to general and then go to software update. So as you can see this update is a big boy. It comes in at around 3.37 gigs and this is just on the iPhone X. So that that's the size that it comes in for me, but I've seen other users that have it between 3.5 to 4.5 so expect that size for your update and this is the details that I have basically before the update if we go to the about section the software version that I have here is 17F5065A now the A did indicate that we were close to the official release version and two weeks after we have the official version and the modem firmware that I have here is 3.05.00 as you can see there so on the update page it actually won't prompt me to update as you can see i first of all need to clear storage so let me do that and then update and then give you an update of the major new features that came with this update there's quite a number and also there's some security updates and yeah let's quickly get into it hey guys so our device is now updated we now have ios 13.5 on this iphone x now let's go ahead and go into settings and see what changes came with this software so if we go to general so settings and then go to general and then go to about the software version is 17f75 so that's a new software and it's a more stable version of this ios 13.5 and then if we scroll down a little bit and see the modem firmware we can see that the modem firmware didn't actually change we have 3.05.00 so that means that if you're having issues that pertain cell wi-fi and bluetooth those issues are most probably going to remain unchanged i'm a bit disappointed in this aspect but we'll see how it performs if it improves with time and time will tell and if it does i will let you know so let's go ahead and see what are the major changes or new features that came with this update so with this update having been released during the pandemic Pandemic, we now have faster face ID times when you're wearing a mask. Now I did do a whole video dedicated to this where I ran iOS 13.5, the beta that I was on on this iPhone X and I basically ran FaceTime times facing the iPhone 11 Pro Max running iOS 13.4 and the results did show that if your device is locked and you try and unlock it with iOS 13.5 there's faster times that will prompt you to input your passcode so that's a new feature that came with this update and the second one has to do with COVID-19 exposure notification so if we go into settings and then go to privacy and then go to health we can see that we have COVID-19 exposure logging and by default it's turned off and you can see that it's not available in my region and I'm basically in Canada and at the moment this is basically available to the United States only so all other countries have been left out with this and basically the country has to speak to Apple I guess and register this software and if you are in the United States where this exposure notification logging is actually enabled you are going to need a certain application approved by your health organization in order to be able to turn it on and off. So that's COVID-19 exposure for you. And then something else that came with this update, if we go to FaceTime, we now have the ability to turn on automatic prominence when on FaceTime video calls. So basically when you were on a FaceTime video call, the system will sort of juggle around to try and you know balance out whoever is speaking. And you'd find that that was kind of hectic, especially when a multiple number of people were speaking. So now we have the option to turn it off and that's something good and it's good to know that Apple has included it here. Now something else that has been included with this update is the ability to be able to share your health contact card or your health information. Let's say if you are allergic to something or have special medical requirements you can be able to share that if you are involved in an emergency. So if you go to settings and then go to uh, health which is right here if you go to the medical ID portion, you have the ability to share medical ID information and your medical profile to first responders if you are to need any form of medical assistance. And that's something that you can basically turn on and off. And then another thing that came with this update, if you use the music app, you can now have the ability to actually share music to your Instagram stories. So I don't use Apple Music, I use Spotify. So if you do use Apple Music, you have an option to now share your stories to Spotify. So basically that's about the 
the new features that came with this update now let's look at some of the bugs that this update fixed so the first bug that was fixed is that you know when i would go to my uh, sometimes my camera app or my youtube or even my whatsapp and do a video call or play a video sometimes i would get a blackout screen so that has now been addressed and with ios 13.5 if you're having such issues that has now been resolved and the second thing that has been resolved also has to do with the text bug so you know the text bug that went viral that would basically crash and reboot your device most apple devices that has been addressed and it's no longer affecting apple iphone devices and the last thing that has been addressed is when you want to share an option or something you basically have options that pop up let's say different contacts or airdrop devices that you can basically send to before there was a bug where this wouldn't show up so if you are facing such issue that has now been addressed with ios 13.5 and so that covers most of the bugs and security updates that came with ios 13.5 now along with this update came watch os 6.2 2.5 and tvOS 13.4.5 GM and iPadOS 13.5 GM. Now it's also interesting to mention that despite all the different issues we've been having with the mail app, Apple actually didn't mention anything or any update or issues resolved with the mail app. So I'll have to test that with time and let you know whether the issues affecting the mail app have been resolved or not. Also before this update, my battery health percentage was on 88%. So let's go ahead and see if that changed. So if we go to the battery section right there and then go to battery health, you can see that it remains on 88 so my battery health percentage is unchanged in this aspect now when it comes to performance these are the scores i just got for single core i scored 929 and for multi-core i scored 2392 so, so as you can see here i did get a bit of an improvement when it comes to performance in both single core and multi-core multi-core had the most significant improvement and i have to also mention that i haven't seen applications that aren't opening as they're supposed to or that are acting a bit buggy but again that takes time to see and to be able to find find other bugs that come with the software and i also have to mention that uh, in order for you to install this update you need about five and a half gigs to six and a half gigs in order to install this update and once you do install this update your device temperature might rise a little bit but again that's normal and is expected so don't freak out if that happens now as with regards to the next ios version let's say ios 14 for example now we know that wwdc will be starting on the 22nd of june right there so if you were to open the developer app it also tells you the same thing and so we expect ios 14 at least the first beta to come in between the 22nd and the 26th of june so hopefully apple sticks to that schedule and then when it comes to the public release we expect it perhaps later on in the year when apple is close to releasing the iphone 12 so basically that's about it for me when it comes to ios 13.5 this is the gm and public versions so in a day or two i'll do a follow-up video where i try and highlight most of the issues affecting performance and major bugs that will come with this update so stay tuned for that video and please subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet done so so that you don't miss that video so if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe down below and as always stay safe and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace